Keys Outdoors is proud to be partnering with Quick Trip Stores to set our fans up with the gear you need for your next big adventure. Text KEYS to 75309 for a chance to win an outdoor prize package, including a $100 Quick Trip gift card. the PMTT visited renowned Lake Mille Lacs for the third and final qualifier event for the 2014 schedule. The anglers had high hopes of encounters of huge muskies that swim in these waters. Though pre-fishing proved to be extremely tough, the bite, well, it carried on over into the tournament. For Dave and I, we'd fish the north shore of Lake Mille Lacs. Our pre-fishing was nothing more than a failure, catching only one huge pike and some monster bass, but no muskies. The only sign of life for us came first thing in the morning as a super huge muskie came up on Dave's lure. He turned it a couple times, but just couldn't get it to eat. Thing just, oh, there's a monster dude. Oh, right big on one, it. big one, dude. He's right on it. There he is again. There he is. He's on it. He's on it, yeah. buddy. Oh my God, was that a There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, swap again. It's dying. Oh, we'll, come over. We'll, we'll, come over. we'll come over there right now. And then a strange phone call. Ty Sennett and Jason Hammernack had found a monster muskie swimming next to their boat for 10 to 15 it's minutes. Right there, so. They thought something was up with this fish. Right they wanted to know if we wanted to come down and film this beast. I'll just get him here. Just get my nose over there, Dave. See him? Okay. I decided to jump into the water to see why this fish was acting so strangely. I don't want to get hooked. This was strange to say the least. This fish was swimming in circles around their boat. After a while, she pumped her tail and disappeared back down into the deep. Day two would bring in a weather change. Overcast skies, light rain, showers, a musky man's dream fishing day, right? Well, at the end of day two, only four muskies would be boated, bringing the total to five muskies caught in this event. The only saving factor in all this was four out of the five muskies caught, well they were big ones. The biggest being a monster 55 and a half inch, making it the largest muskie netted in the 16 year history of the PMTT. That honor would go to team Joey Rosansky and Mark Gielek. Good luck buddy. First place would go to Steve Jensen and Ryan Carlisle. On Sunday, the last day of the tournament, Ryan Carlisle would hook into two really nice muskies, securing the win for this year's PMTT on Old Lake Mille Lacs.
Keys Outdoors is brought to you by Fish Hard Performance Outdoor Clothing and Jack Daniels. Each barrel weighs 571 pounds, filled with 55 gallons of Tennessee whiskey. Painstakingly built by hand out of wood, steel, and fire. No other distiller can say the same. Because only within these oak walls does Jack Daniels become Jack Daniels. Now we are off to the PMTT World Championship on Pewaukee Lake, Wisconsin to see who would be crowned this year's PMTT World Champions, but more importantly, who would be the best overall team and take home the much coveted prize of all Top Gun Team of the Year. Our plan was simple. Get on the outside weed edge and start trolling. This would help us on learning this lake and give us a chance to see if there would be a trolling bite that would be happening during the tournament. All right guys, here we go. PMTT and we're hooked up already. Trolling. I'll tell you what, nice fish. Oh my God, is this a nice fish here guys. I'm a little crusher, musky. Nice fish. We'll take it, boy. I'll tell you what, that thing just clobbered it. I just cleared it full of the weeds, and it wanted it. Boy, I'll tell you what, we'll take those fish all day long during the tournament here, guys. I'll tell you. In the bag. You know, Dave and I came down here. We've been hit with a severe, severe cold front for the last week. The weather has changed now, temps are starting to rise, and usually in a cold front situation, these fish are either going to go ultra shallow or deep. What we decide to do, because we are unfamiliar with this body of water, Lake Pewaukee, we wanted to troll so we could mark out our weed edges for casting and trolling to really get a good lay of the land. And uh, I'll tell you what, we've been doing it for about an hour and we're hooked up. This is a nice fish. This is a real quality fish for this body of water here. So let's pop her out. Let's get some hook out tools going here. Let's take a look at this bad girl. Oh yeah, that's a dandy. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm hoping this thing bites, fish like this bite all day long on Saturday when it counts. This is definitely a nice fish you wanna have in the boat during the tournament. What a dandy, healthy looking fish here. Pewaukee Lake Musky, right here, baby.
hey let's get back to work again like we're saying man this is what we're throwing this four inch stuff this is what we're pulling right here a little four inch crank deep diving crankbaits this is the crusher by musky armor and this thing is awesome and you know something i know there ain't too many guys that are gonna be pulling this With one muskie in our net, we would continue our short line trolling pattern, changing up colors on our lures and playing around with size of our lures as we were trying to get dialed in on this bite. And then, another strike. Once again, on a small perch pattern crank. Watch this rod. I got it. All right, guys, our second fish here trolling. We got a good thing going here. Let's hope it holds up. I'm gonna move this rod here. Yeah, I'm gonna get grab the. Thing. the bag that quick tell you what guys i'll tell you what this is fun it's our second fish dave and i've only been down here for probably about four hours now getting ready for the pmtt and what a great way to start so far it's been all trolling what we're doing is this thing is just packed with weeds we're short lining and i mean short lining i'm only letting about eight feet of line out Usually on clear bodies of water like that kind of a little scary to do it like that because Will they come up and hit it right at the boat and obviously they will Here you go That is a legal fish my friends Like I said if the tournament was being held today Dave and I would be sitting pretty right now with two fish in the boat already Again, they're like in the small crankbaits at about two weight lots of bait Lots of cool little fish like this. I'm gonna let her go back. Back down. Fish number two in the bag for us today so far. Like I said, if the tournament was going today, we'd be styling, but we got a good game plan. We like what we're doing. Obviously, it's working for us. Keys Outdoors is brought to you by Great Clips and the Skeeter Boat Center. I've never been much for buying things because of a name. For me, it's about the product. That's why I fish out of the Skeeter MX 2025, powered by Yamaha, the world's best musky boat. I mean, if we're throwing names around, well then, I'm throwing the Skeeter MX series out there. Hooking up on some monster skis. Just saying. Alright guys, well, we haven't cast yet, so Dave and I, we ate some lunch, it's day two of the PMTT, and we decided to do some casting. One thing, pattern-wise, that we've got going now, 
we just had up a real nice fish, about a 38 incher, turned it on a figure eight. It actually ate the bait, but this is what's happening. This is what we're throwing. We're actually throwing small bass style baits. These are cranks. We're in about eight to nine feet of water, lots of weeds, and what we're doing is this pull pause motion seems to have brought that fish up. Turned in the figure eight, came in, and nailed it. The problem that we're having is the hook size. That's the problem that you're gonna have when you're throwing the small stuff. But again, one of the patterns that we've established right now is all of our fish, we've caught two yesterday, just had this one up that eight, that's three fish, and all of them were on really tiny bass style size baits. So we're gonna continue on, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing, and if we raise some more fish on this style, this size bait, then we know that we've got a trolling pattern and a casting pattern established for the upcoming tournament. So that's it, but what a nice fish, man. Ate it, had it hooked, did two head shakes, and got off. That's the way it goes. Fish trolling. Dave and I are on a pattern for sure. And I'll tell you what, these little cranks that we're using have been dynamite. But this illegal fish too. Oh. <laughs> oh well, we we did what we wanted to do. We know what is going on here. That is our third fish trolling uh, in the last couple days. Plus what we had is we had one fish up casting. We moved a bunch of fish, but right now the tournament starts tomorrow and I think we've just solidified what we're gonna do. Well, Tim, this is it. It comes down to Pewaukee, Wisconsin. 2014, somebody's gonna leave here world champions. Yeah, it's exciting. Top 35 teams around the country worked all year, they're here. The fishing, it's been good. Everybody's seeing fish, that's what's exciting, Mike. It seems like everybody I talk to, they're boating some, but seeing a lot of fish. I'm thinking this weather that moved in, I think it's gonna help today. All right, guys, PMTT World Championship. Let's go musky iron, Woo! For Dave and I, we'd start our day out casting, the outside deep weed edge of a massive weed bed that made up the narrows. And it wasn't long when we had action. For Jason Hammernick and Ty Sennett, this fish, well, it would be the start of an epic tournament. <laughs> Finally, it's over 30 inches. For Dave and I, we'd go back to the troll. Seeing only one muskie that morning, we would have to go back to the tactic that put three muskies in our boat the last two days. We're here mid-morning, day one at the PMTT Championship. There's been a few fish bubbles. Remember these guys, Nate Osfer and Matt Riley? They also had a lot riding on this event. They were chasing the most coveted prize in musky fishing, the PMTT's Top Gun Team of the Year. A halfway on day one, about noon rolling in. It's been a great bite so far. Cool thing is, Team of the Year, Nate Osfer and Matt Raley caught a fish. First two tournaments of the year, Cape Run and Eagle River, they were winning Senate and Hammernick behind them in second. 
Now we got Sunnet and Hammernick winning with them coming up with another fish. It's gonna be really cool to see how this championship plays out. This is like the third fish in like 10 minutes. They're popping right now. Must be a little window open. I ain't checked the uh, highs and lows today, but three fish in like 10 minutes. We have another one over there on that side. We can't even get to it. Let's pull up here and see what they got. After day one, the team of Hammernick and Senate, well, they would end up with, are you ready for this? Four muskies by the end of the day. New lures from Muskie Innovation. Dying Dog, a hybrid suspending jerk bait designed to mimic a struggling and dying bait fish. Ripping Dog, a soft plastic bait fish shaped lure that can be jigged or rip casted. A new technique that's catching on in the Muskie world. Magnum Shallow Invader, the big brother of the time tested standard shallow invader but with a much larger profile that can be casted or trolled. Go to muskieinnovation.com. All right, man. That's a dandy. Got him. Yeah. Get in the net. Yeah, yeah. Fifty, baby. That's a nice fish there. That's a four footer for oh. sure. Musky Busters back. Hey everybody, welcome back to Keys Outdoors, day two, the conclusion, 2014, PMTT, Pewaukee Lake. Tim, tell the folks out there what happened yesterday. 16 fish up to 44 and a half inches, a quad. Ty Sennett, Jason Hammernick got four fish yesterday. It was a good bite. Obviously, you get about 50% of the field, it's a good bite. It seemed like it was a mix of everything. Trolling, casting, they were kind of scattered. I see guys getting them off the brakes, suspended, up in the weeds. All I know is we got 35 boats right there ready to go out. Somebody wants to be world champion. All right, guys. PSTT World Championship Day 2. Let's go Muskie Iron. Dave and I would start out day two casting once again, working the narrows. The day before, showing us several fish casting 
but we are unable to get them to commit to our lures. <laughs> Day two here, folks, mid-morning. Weather was bad. The wind was brutal at takeoff, blowing in. We've had some rain and some mist going on, but the fish are going. There was a guy who popped one right away. We're in the center area here called the Narrows. A lot of fishermen, we just seen another one caught here. A couple at the west end, Hammernick and Senate. Got another fish, another five fish they got already this morning. But there's been some other teams that double up. It is really early. We were wondering, we talked about it this morning, if this would affect the bite. Seems to be going so far. Hey, we're right here at the takeoff, the end of the day, end of the season, 2014 PMTT World Championship is gonna be coming to an end. We got a sailboat, we got it out here. The weather broke a little bit, they caught fish today, it's exciting. We're gonna have 35 teams coming in right now and we're crowning somebody world champion shortly. I'd like to welcome everybody back here to the conclusion 2014 season professional muskie tournament trail um, an exciting event really was you guys uh, a lot of fish considering the numbers the tough weather you do ratios 27 muskies 35 anglers I'd say that's pretty good in third place for team of the year a total of 470 points Robert Strand and Ethan Rogers. I never had this happen. I had to look at my own rules to see how to break this. We actually, how do you fish all year in the tournaments in all the different places and tie for first place for team of the year? I had to look at my own rules to find what the tiebreakers were. Absolutely crazy. And in second place, 487 points, Nate Ausfer and Matt Raley. <laughs> Top Gun Team of the Year, free entries in all the events next year. Start off at boat one next year with a total of 487 points, Ty Sennett and Jason Hammernick. <laughs> in first place, with five fish, taking on cowgirls, PMTT Top Guns and World Champion, Ty Senate and Jason Hammernick. Like I said, this day, well, it was going to be epic for these two. Keys Outdoors, The Quest, has been brought to you by these fine sponsors.